morning guys so this morning i am going to be heading out to um banyetta i think that's how you say it gym and um house bar so they have not house bar health club they have two so the one that i'm going to is only eight minutes walk um the other one um is a bit further away that one's near um that one's near um, the Sea Life Centre and that's the one my mum's actually going to because that one has the spa and obviously for her for her birth, birthday or Christmas, for her birthday, no Mother's Day, I, the, both of them are together basically, Mother's Day and her birthday together, I think I got it for Mother's Day, um, I got her like this um, house whatsoever. <laughs> It's funny when she found out the price because it actually told you when she booked it what the value was and that was kind of a bit awkward. I was like, uh, um, she's like, did you, sp and I was like, um, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know why I did that. Like, it, it, it it's a voucher. <laughs> like, why would you say the price? But anyway, she's going there, um, soon. I don't, I can't remember what day she's picked. Um, so there's that. So there's two. I'm just going to the one that I said that's like eight minutes away. Uh, eight minutes away. I kind of know where it is. I know it's like past. I've had a lot on street maps. It's like past um, B and M, and then I think it's turning off. I can also use, I always use my sat nav on my phone as well if I get a little bit lost. But yeah, that is happening. Um, I've never been to that gym before in my life, so I don't know what they've got. Um, so I might have to adapt. Uh, my workouts. Um, I got a reminder as well on my tablet saying, um, obviously, because I every three months I take a week off the gym, and apparently the coming week is where I supposed to take a break. But I'll still go to the gym today. I don't know. I know I'm not going to go on Monday. That's why I'm going on Sunday instead. Um, so yeah, but I've missed quite a few anyway in the past few well not missed quite a few my whole like what I usually do has been switched around because obviously I had that 10k so I was doing different things at the gym instead um so I didn't tell myself too much and then I took I think I took a three day break before I actually did no actually I just skipped Thursday for legs and then yeah so I don't know if I'm still going to take that week break off yet but yeah what the frick people I have more money like what the frick I don't know when I put this in my pocket yesterday. Um, in my, I don't know what I brought, which I decided to put the change in my pocket. This is why I didn't put money in my pocket. So I've got more money than I thought I had. I know it's not that much technically, but still. Like, because I know I had like thirty p in one of my pockets, which I took out, which I'm taking out now, and I was twenty p. And then put my hand in and apparently there's about 800 freaking pound coins here I'm like what the freak what the freak guys anyway I might see Pokemon as well today might as well 2, 4, 5 I don't know I might do my not but what the freak <laughs> this always happens well it's happened at the right time actually if I got home and realised that was in my pocket I would have cried um, but yeah, what the frick? Anyway, so before I go, <laughs> go to the gym, I need to go to Tesco, get a bottle of water. Um, also, I've used all my credit on my phone. I should have topped it up with £10 instead of £5. But, oh, I know what it was. I know what was changing from, or some of it anyway. Um, it might have been when I uh, checked in. Because he went to get changed for £4. I put my first away, I just stuck it in there. I don't know. I'm guessing that's what... Anyway, I need to go to Tesco to get a bottle of water, um, get a top up voucher obviously, just in case I do get lost, I might not get lost, um, I don't know, but just in case, I know I can ask people, but I've, I've got, I know whereabouts where it is, it's just when I get to be in there, I might need to pop on the sat nav, um, but yeah. Banter, I talk about getting lost, because I followed the, because obviously the, um, the GPS is going to do the car way. I got completely lost and I found these people. I just stalked them and I found it. And it turns out I literally just walked past the place, which is funny. It's funny because I can't get over that. I don't need a locker. I've literally not taken any valuables with me. Like, just my water bottles in here, pretty much. And I've used up all my money, so all the money that I bought with me anyway, which is kind of funny. But you know, I ain't gone for the valuable. I know they give you it 
back, but still. <sighs> the money back. It's a weird system, I don't really have like where you just have a lot to lock it anyway. It's a bit odd, but yeah. <laughs>
probably the most frustrating. I don't know why I was holding it to the middle of the frustrating gym I've ever been to. It was not frustrating. So there was two things. So basically, it costs twenty pound. Twenty pound. Basically, if you want to go to that gym, it costs twenty pound a month. Right. I'm just gonna say here, you're literally just paying for the cardio machines, which you can watch YouTube videos and whatever the news and stuff like that, and the swimming pool. Because other than that, it is not worth twenty pound a month. Like the gym is just not worth it whatsoever. There's only a few weighted machines, which annoyed me because I couldn't hit biceps as hard as I usually do because they didn't have the machine that I usually do use uh, for my biceps, along with doing a hammer hammer kills and normal bicep kills. So that so that annoyed me. So I didn't feel that I got a full workout on my biceps. Um, it just, the dumbbell, the layout was shit as well. Like, upstairs you had all the, like, other weighting machines, like, you know, the heavy ones that use the plates. And they had a way of, right, ray of dumbbells, but the dumbbells upstairs only went to 10, and the lowest is 10. So I had to go downstairs to get lower weights to do the standing shoulder press, which is annoying. It's just, you know what I mean, like, set it up so you've got, Okay, all you've got the row of dumbbells that only start off from ten, but at least have like they had like a mini section with dumbbells that were literally really small, and it was like you know what I mean. Maybe have them downstairs and have the ones that are downstairs upstairs, or just get some more dumbbells. Like it was just a bit. That was a bit. Oh, <laughs> bit. <rrr. laughs> I mean, I guess it's all right if you're just starting out, but for me, I just. <laughs> It felt like it was just—it was just a little frustrating. I'm glad I didn't actually pay for the um, day pass because the day pass would have just been a rip off as well. Because the day pass was like fifteen pound and definitely not worth fifteen pound. So I think next time I'd probably just look around a lot more, um, or ask on Instagram or work. But I'm giving like I only picked that one because it was closer to my hotel and I didn't want to like traipse over Birmingham just to get to a gym but I think it's probably worth it seeing as that gym is like that gym is now off my limits but now I'm gonna have a shower I've not actually cleaned the room yet so I'm gonna have to quickly have a shower and then I don't know what I'm actually gonna do for the rest of the day I'm not gonna lie um I'm sad where I'm going actually now in a minute but I only got to see a brief of it um, yesterday because by the time I got round there like it was closed and everything and it was late but it's like a little square sort of thing with like shops I think it's called the square like it's where I've round about where I've just literally just been because well, that's where the gym is about so I'll probably have a nip and wonder in there first off I kind of forgot it was Sunday so <laughs> literally all not well, then nearly all the shops. We so I was just like walking around, and I looked to the place where I went to near where the place where I went to when I went to um, CG Easy. So I just was practically walking, and I got my lunch from being on the doing and off. I'm not having any high hopes on the sandwich though. I was doing like an off where it's like only like one pound. I think it's like um, one pound seventy five, like a meal deal. But it was only on the sandwiches, so you could only get a sandwich. I got to remain, you know what I mean? So I've got no high hopes for that. A bottle of um, Diet Pepsi, which is in a small bottle, but again, it was only £1.79. And you had to have a bag of crisps, like you couldn't like pick up any whole snack. So it's kind of limited, but whatever. I saw that deal the other day, so I thought. Why not just why not just grab it? But yeah, the temperature has gotten warm. Like I had my plastic J plastic kit on, and then I sit half halfway because it's it was quite hot. But yeah, it's quite busy around the boring and stuff like that. Even though it's a Sunday, but like, yeah, it's Birmingham. You know what I mean? Like because obviously where Derby, if you didn't know where I was from, um, it's kind of like. Sundays it's kind of like dead in town and stuff. In the weekday it can be quite dead as well. But yeah, the shopping center is quite busy today. Um, but yeah, it could be the weather though. It could be the reason why it's quite busy. Like someone just gave me like this thing. I'm guessing this is only available in Birmingham. I don't really like 
companies like this it's so dodgy did you hear all that girl who went into a new right it's happened before right first off did you hear all that woman she got into an uber that wasn't an uber she asked the driver if she was in if it was any if it was a drive she thought it was an uber driver turns out it wasn't even a, a taxi driver at all and i think he murdered her or something raped her or murdered her or mur either way she's dead now like and i made me think maybe don't they have like codes and stuff or like he can confirm a name and stuff like that so i'm just jumping in and it happened i can't remember which subscriber was watching where he ended up in the wrong uber he ended up in someone else's uber that happened but like oh, do people not check like double check like double check surely you're giving a reference number or something like that or double check with the driver do you know where i'm going and whatever for him to confirm the address and everything but yeah, that is so sad. But guys, if you're going to use these companies like this, be careful. Because obviously, one, make sure you're at... Because that guy would have been an opportunist. And he, he wouldn't have said no. Because he, he could have just... He would have... He could have done this... Not done this before, but it could be somebody who was murdered in the past. And this is an opportunist. This woman comes into his car thinking he's an Uber. So he's talking, you know what? He's like, yeah, whatever, I'll say I'm an Uber and then I'll kill her. And then the other one, I'm sure, I don't know. When you get in a normal taxi, they usually confirm your name or um, your name or where you're going to. But yeah. So, I mean, it's a free, first ride free. <laughs> So if I use it today, I go somewhere, but then I have to walk ten miles to get back. Um, yeah, offer only route. A free ride limited to a maximum of ten pound in, in value. Rise under ten by ten pound will be free of charge, but no remaining balance will be kept as credit. Okay, cool. Yeah, and offers only available in Birmingham. I don't think this company is even based outside of Birmingham anyway. But yeah. So I am currently editing the um, workout that I did earlier on. I thought I'd edit this now and then stick it on my Instagram. It will also be in this YouTube video um, as well. But yeah. It is full on taking its time. <laughs> it's been like this for like ages now. <laughs> Mm. Oh. Come on, peeps. Come on. You can do this. Just upload. Just upload for me. It is full on taking its time. <laughs> it's been like this for like ages now. Mm. Oh. Come on, peeps. Come on. You can do this. Just upload. Just upload for me. This is so fucking frustrating. I might just go into McDonald's, get a fucking coffee, just so because the Wi-Fi is fucking. I know the Wi-Fi is better than this fucking place. Like, fuck's sake! I keep trying to upload it and it just keeps getting stuck. It's a fucking joke, man. At this point, I give up. Like, I literally give up. What I'll do is, um, I am going to be, probably head out, probably somewhere with Wi-Fi, and, and try and upload this on better Wi-Fi, because this just is not working whatsoever. I've decided I'm just going to purpose the workout in my story, my story, uh, what's it, on Instagram, just because it's easier, so, yeah. So I posted a review on the um, on the gym that I just went to. I read this that is pretty shocking. It's actually dangerous. Basically saying pool always got too much chlorine and no attendant. No attendant. So if someone's going to drown, there's no one there. Especially if it's just them in the gym. That is very, very, very bad. That is really bad practices. Like if that is still going on, that was 11 months ago. So it might have changed. I should have checked actually, but if that's still going on, then they need reporting because that's that that's a health and safety issue. If someone drowns or someone nearly drowns, there's no one there. Or even if someone's drowning, the people there and they may they may be able to us be able to help them or whatever, or they may not be. That's not the point. You need a tenant. That is like breaking health and safety regulations. So. 
you know, if they're still doing it and you go to that gym, then I suggest you actually report it. I'll probably do a review. I wrote a review on here. I'll probably do a separate review as well. Um, but yeah. Just about to go and get some food. And I've just realised the gym that I went to, yeah, is owned by Duncan Ballantyne. People are thinking, who the hell's him? Um, basically, he's been on a Dragon's Den. I don't think he's still is anymore i've not seen dragon's den in years as soon as like all the old what's it started to disappear i just stopped watching it he owns that gym and that gym's like that wow it's shocking that is actually shocking again i just want to make this alliterate this the gym that i went the bun because there's two in birmingham the one that i went to is the one the priory there's another one that's more closer to the sea life center i went Mine one was closer to the city centre, again that was the priory and that I don't know about obviously the one at the sea last centre, I don't know if that's any better but wow, this one was actually, it makes it more shocking that he owns that gym, just makes it more shocking, like you expect it to be a little bit, well not a little bit more better, like, ex like extremely well better than that, that is shocking. I'm starting to pack my things now, so it's not so much as like a mad rush tomorrow morning. Um, my print, my print. <laughs> I was trying to say plane, even though I'm not getting the plane, I'm getting the train home. Why did I? Why did I try and say plane? It didn't even come out right anyway. <laughs> my train <laughs> doesn't come until twelve thirty, so I don't need to actually leave my room till like literally bang on twelve. Um. But yeah, and then I'll just hang around, um, obviously in um, in the train station for just for for obviously for about half an hour. <laughs> so yeah, to, the trip has been fun. It's been like it's been it's like because all like this like the past few weeks has been horrible, like just everything like worst things just happening and happening. And it's like, why is this like one disaster after another? And it's been really hard. It's been, oh, like it's just, it's just been god awful. So it's just a good break to have. I mean, obviously it's only temporary because I'm coming back to misery. Um, but you know, hopefully it's, it's. I don't want to get into it because I'd just rather not. But hopefully it's not as bad. And it's not another massive disaster. Um, but yeah, so the past few weeks has just been a bit horrible. <coughs> so going to the bottom, obviously, staying in Birmingham for three nights was a, go a good way to get away. And obviously, body power, which I enjoyed as well. Um, a lot, I've been watching videos. A lot of people are really disappointed in the body power this year. They said that it's getting worse and worse. Um, a lot of their issues is basically some people reckon since Gymshark don't do it anymore that since then it's gone downhill and you don't see as many big brands there but to be honest with you big brands don't with things like this with like expos and stuff a big company doesn't necessarily need to go to expos like for example uh Maxi Muscle, that's how you say it, they were there, they didn't really need to be there. Um, PH Nutrition was there, or is it PHD or PH Nutrition? One of them, I think it's PHD. They were there, they didn't necessarily need to be there. So they were like, they're not, not many big brands than they usually are, but to be fair, the price of the price, I have to find, I don't think I told you guys. So apparently, this girl was gonna get a booth, like the smallest one you can get. But she was like she'd charge it'll cost her one was it one thousand five hundred and she was like in the end she didn't do it because then she'll have to put the prices of her products but she wanted to keep her products to be like a, a, an affordable price that's a lot and if you take that into consideration you probably that's probably the reason why you don't see it because obviously the big brands are going to want the big booths and it's just going to cost a lot and after finding out and the, finding out how much it was for just a small booth it made me think wow so ghost vancuous or however we say your name say your name um, maxi nutrition paid all that for that massive space you know what i mean even as a big company and you've got that money 
you st they still need to consider it's still a lot of money to you know to sp spend and are you going to make that money back selling all the clothes there you might not actually or you might just break even so in a way because of the price of the booths as well no matter how big or how successful sex what success successful a company is they always need to like take in consideration is doing this are they gonna is it gonna be worth them like are they gonna make the money back um which i'm trying to basically trying to say but yeah, so that could explain why there's not many big brands that go there anymore because of the just price of the booths. I mean, that is a lot. I know a price, right, comic, at the same place, right, for a booth at Comic Con, it's nowhere near that price. I don't think so. Any, no, nowhere near that price. <coughs> I know for Leicester, it definitely isn't. Not Leicester, uh, Nottingham. But yeah, mate, that's a lot. <laughs> a lot of money. Um, but yeah, as I said, I really enjoyed um, this week, well this week, these three days is fun. I go back tomorrow and then for some reason I bought Tuesday off as a holiday as well. I don't know why I booked all these holidays off. <laughs> I don't usually like book a load of holidays but apparently I have. I mean it's not like I can stay an extra day because I'm seriously broke now. But I get paid on the Thursday so that's not too bad. <laughs>